to my channel if you're new here welcome thank you guys so much for clicking on this video if you are new don't forget to go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below and turn your post notification bell on as well so you guys can be notified every time I have a new video I'm Crystal or Prissy Chrissy and on my channel I share vlogs hauls beauty tips different things like that lifestyle content so if you guys are interested in that then don't forget to subscribe today I have a Shein haul for you guys and this is my first Shein haul so I'm really excited about that I do have quite a few things to show y'all today so we are going to jump right into the video so the first item that I want to show y'all today and I'm going to take these off the hanger I hope the light isn't washing these out but these are a pair of silver metallic pants I picked these up in a size medium and they fit perfectly I'll insert the um, picture or video right over here so you guys can see for reference I'm 5'2 about 150 pounds my waist is a 28 I'm not sure about the rest of my measurements but I know my waist is a 28 and I normally wear a medium in bottoms I normally wear a medium in tops as well but I like to size down for my tops to fit me a little bit more snug so I usually pick up a size small when it comes to tops if they're long sleeve tops then I'll usually get my um, normal size because my arms are a little bit thicker so here are the pants and like I said they're a metallic pair of faux leather skinny legs so there you have that and on the back just plain with your regular two pockets it zips up and it also buttons as well in the front. So these I did try them on already and they fit perfectly for a size medium. Like I said, I'll insert the video over here so you guys can see. But these I love. They're so cute. I feel like you could dress these up or dress them down. You could do like a graphic tee or you could style them the way I did. I, I tried to stick to just the sheen pieces in this haul when I was styling everything. So I paired these with a pink cardigan that I'll show you guys in a second. And I also paired it with like this black um, mesh top. So you guys will be seeing that soon. But yeah guys, these fit perfectly. They have a ton of stretch, so they're very comfortable. And that's it for the first item. Alright guys, so next up we have a pair of jeans. And these are not a regular pair of jeans. These are knotted with strings in the back with like this cream color string. And I thought that detail was super cute. I did also try these on and they fit perfectly. And a lot of the stuff that I got in this haul is from the Shein Sexy line in particular. I find those items to have more stretch and just be a little bit more suitable for my curvy body. So I opted for a lot of those items. But I do have some regular Shein items as well. These don't have the size on them. I'm pretty sure they're a size medium. I'll double check the order but all of my sizes will be linked down below with the specific link for each item. So yeah guys, these are just the perfect wash. They're very thick and sturdy. They're skinny down at the bottom and they're just plain in the front as you guys can see. Yeah, so I just thought that split and knotted string through moment was cute. Um, I'll probably be pairing this with like a tank or maybe like a white top. Just keep it simple because of the knot detail. But you can pair these with heels and just like a cute bag for like an effortless trendy date night look. And there you have that. Alright guys, so next up we have this belted cargo skirt. This is a mini cargo skirt. And I just thought this was really cute for like a chill vibe. Going out to happy hour, grab some cocktails with the girls. It did come with the belt, so let me just hold it up so you guys can see. You can literally wear this so many different ways. Just off the top of my head, I'm thinking a graphic tee with my Rick Owens. Or to keep it like super chill and simple, just a plain knit top again with some Rick Owens. This also will go well with a pair of combat boots. You could wear this with like a gray hoodie, some combat boots. Super chill, but a really cute vibe, especially when you add your accessories, your watch, your handbag, and everything like that. So I just thought that was really, really cute and effortless. The color, this olive green, is perfect for the fall. So yeah, guys, I know there's a lot you could do with this. So what I'm going to do, like I always do, is insert my inspo right over here so you guys can see different ways of styling. And also, follow me on Instagram if you guys want to see like my everyday looks. I usually post on my story, um, at Chrissy Chrissy. But yeah, guys, there's that. Alright guys, next up we have this skirt and this is a maxi skirt. So it's a knit maxi skirt with splits down at the bottom. And it also has pockets on the side and it splits down right under the navel. I'm not sure if you guys could see that little de detail but it does split right down at the navel. So I'm going to try this on so you guys can see how it fits. It fits really well. I did pick this up in a size medium. I do feel like I could have did a small for like a more fitted look. It is super duper stretchy so you definitely could size down on this one but my regular medium worked for this. This I'll most likely be doing with like a white top. Either a white knit top or like a white bralette with a hoodie over. A gray hoodie to do kind of like a monochrome look and then my Rick Owens I feel like would look super cute with this. 
so yeah i'll insert that this is a really chill item i probably wouldn't be doing these with heels i feel like i'll stick to boots with this one because it's just like a really cute vibe just a chill daytime look going out to run errands or going out really quick get something to eat get a drink or something but yeah guys just a simple piece to have in your closet that you could just pull out and throw a look together real quick that's more so my speed and my vibe i don't really plan out my outfits ahead of time unless i have an event or somewhere special to go i like to just pull pieces out my closet and just put a look together real quick however i'm feeling that day i'll just put something together and um we have a look so i'll insert that style in the bowl for you guys to see like i said super stretchy soft material nice and thick perfect for the fall all right y'all so let's get into the tops i have a lot of tops to show y'all today we're gonna start with this white top it's not quite mesh but it is very textured which i love i love textures i love patterns i love prints mixed together so i'll show y'all what i mean as i go on and show you how i style things during the haul but i love the texture of this one it also has some texture in the front when i pull it back in the light a little bit you can see it more but it has like this texture detail just like a little design in the front which i thought made the top pop a little bit more this will look really cute on denim and it'll also look really good on like a colored bottom so like your olive greens your tans um utility pants cargo pants i feel like this will pair well with that but this one I did pick up in a size medium it fits well I'm not sure um, what I'm going to put underneath because it is see-through so I have to figure that out so be mindful about this one it is see-through so you'll need some coverage um, underneath for your base but yeah guys this is cute long sleeve and it is cropped so it stops right under your bra all right y'all so next up we have this pink crop cardigan and it is connected by this little detail chain right here this one is nice and thick it fits really well i got this in a size small because like i said sometimes i like to size down when you're ordering from certain places too like shein is one of those places that their items run big so i usually like to size down i do stick to my regular sizes in a medium like i said before but you'll start to realize as you shop with a particular brand um what sizes you need because in reality we are different sizes in different stores but yeah guys this one fit perfectly i love the color i love this little chain detail that holds it together you cannot unbuckle it but i was able to get in this one with no problem you could apply some boob tape just to hold the girls up a little bit more for this one because it is not full coverage but i don't have like a whole lot of chest so yeah so I didn't really have to do too much in that department. But I thought this was just super cute. I love the color. There's a lot of different things that you could do with this one as well. You could do it on denim. I did pair it with those silver metallic pants like I told you guys. It just was a super chill, effortless, simple but cute date night look. Yeah, I thought that was really cute. Alright guys, so next up we have this top. And let me hold it up so you guys can see. It does have these open loop circles up front. And then it has these diamonds right on top of the opening for each of the circles. So yeah, I thought that detail was really cute. It's giving like a poster girl type of vibe with that cutout in the front. This one, for some reason, I picked up in a size medium. I just felt like I needed a medium in this. And although it does fit, the small definitely would have worked out a little bit better for me. It's a little bit plain in the back. This one, again, is bright, it's colorful, so you can always pair your colors with denim. But I do have a bright orange skirt as a part of this haul that I feel like I'm going to pair this with. Probably with some pink heels and then a bag just to add some contrast. But yeah, I thought this was really cute. Alright guys, so next up we have this purple top. And this is a asymmetrical top. As you can see, it's buttoned correctly, but one side is longer than the other. I love that little detail. So this top is the same as the one I'm wearing now. I did not get this one from Shein, but Shein does also have this colorway, so keep that in mind. But yeah guys, this is super good quality. It's knitted, the collar is 30, and it's purple and orange. You can't really see the orange until you put it on and kind of stretch it a little bit. But you guys will kind of see a better view of the color once I put it on and style it up for you guys. So yeah, this one I'll probably be pairing with some jeans. This will probably be a chill daytime look for me. Um, just a little cute situation, nothing really too much. Here's the back. But yeah guys, I love this, super cute. All right guys, so next up we have this skirt. And this is a skirt that I was just telling you guys a second ago that I want to pair with that pink top with the holes going down the chest. That's actually how they styled it on the website and it was really cute. So this is just going to be a fun pop of color moment for me. If I have somewhere specific to go, like a party or something, I'll probably stick to this 
for that. This isn't my normal type of vibe with the two pops of color, but I did think it was super cute. So it has this detail, this circle chain insert down at the bottom, right along the split. And this one is in a size medium, just for reference. So yeah, y'all, really cute. Next up, we have this long sleeve. It's not a graphic tee, more of just like a long sleeve top with this mural sort of design in the front. A lot of these items you could definitely style a few different ways. So look out for the different things that I do with these on Instagram. But this is really just a simple long sleeve top. I feel like the design in the front just added some contrast. If I wanted to style it with like a plain pair of jeans or like a pair of denim shorts with white boots, I feel like the colors will make the plain shorts and the white boots pop even more. So yeah, I'll show you guys what I mean with that, but I thought this was just a nice top to have in my closet if I wanted to do something a little bit funky. So yeah, I'll show you guys what I mean about that. This is nice and light, so you could definitely put like a denim jacket or something over it if it's a chilly day, but yeah, really cute. Alright guys, so next up we have the same type of top, but this one is a different colorway. So this one I feel the same type of way about. This is purple and pink mainly, by the way. I love purple and pink together. I just feel like it's a really cute color combination. But again, I feel like I'll just be pairing this with a pair of cute denim shorts, distressed denim shorts, um, denim jeans, and a white shoe, shoe like a white boot. And pair it with a bag. You can even do sunglasses if you want to go for like a futuristic type of vibe. Just a cute daytime chill look a fun brunch or just going out during the day whatever the case is super cute this is just giving me rock star type of vibes and like i said i'll insert the look so you guys could see me dressed and styled in this one next up we have this super cool and cute top this one is collared with a v-shape down right above the bust it's like a drape type of material all throughout. I thought that was a really cute vibe. I did a black bra under this and I paired it with those silver pants that I showed you in the beginning. And that just was a really cute simple date night type of look. I paired it with silver shoes and a black and silver bag as well. And it just was like no effort to the look but just a really cute date night look. So there you have that. And you can wear that to any type of date really out to dinner. You could switch the heels out for sneakers. I have a pair of like these um, sequin golden gooses. So I feel like I could put those on to tone the look down a little bit more and wear that to like a movie night so yeah there you have that super duper cute it is see-through so you do have to wear a bra underneath but i paired it with a black bra and it looked really cute i did also tie it in the back because this one is a size medium it's not as fitted as i would like so i just knotted it in the back just to give it a, a more snug fit super cute next up we have another black long sleeve top this one i'm going to hold it up so you guys can see the detail so this one is a cutout top it has a cutout in the middle and then it has cutouts on each of the sides so once i put that one you'll get a better idea of how it looks but black as you guys know pairs really well with denim or you could do like an all black look paired with some faux leather pants but i'll show you guys how i style this one i really feel like it'll look cute with a pair of fitted denim jeans some heels and just a little bag and you're good to go right out the door Next up, we have a short sleeve top. This one is in an angelic type of print. I thought that was really cute. We are now in the fall. I don't know where you guys are, but where I'm at in Philly, it has already started to get cold. So I'll probably be saving this one for vacay, paired with like a cute skirt, a cute pleated skirt, um, some heels. Or I could wear this on a chillier day. I could pair it with a skirt and some boots and just put a um, denim jacket right over. And you'll have like a cute fall look if you did want to wear this in the fall in the cooler weather all right guys so next up we have this cropped not front top and this one i thought was really cute in this navy blue color you always need your basics in your closet like i said for your get up and go days when you just want to pop something out put something together and just head out the door so i'll turn it around show you the back just plain in the back but this one i'm going to pair with the gray skirt that i showed you guys earlier i feel like that'll be a super cute look pair it with my rick owens maybe a hoodie because like i said it's cold outside but just like a simple get up and go look running out the door to go run errands or anything like that just a really cute simple and staple piece to have in your closet all right guys so next up we have this walford dupe type of top this is just a plain black bodysuit and it is padded in the breast area. Little basics like this are perfect for all year round, but they're especially perfect for the fall for when you want to do your blazer looks. So I'll be pairing this with my black faux leather blazer and some denim jeans. Or I could even pair it with those silver pants and the, um, do the faux leather blazer as well. You can do a boot with either of these looks or you can do a heel. So it's pretty versatile. But this one I did pick up in a size medium since it clenches underneath for a little bit more comfort. 
Um, it has this rouged detail in the back. I'm not sure if you guys could see it. But this one is just really sexy and perfect for a date night type of look. So yeah guys, there's that. And then the last clothing item that I wanted to show y'all is this racer type of top. So this reminds me of the um, NASCAR racers a little bit. It's a long sleeved and it's a pretty stretchy top and it just has these designs all over which I thought was really cute. So you could do a nice trendy look with this. Pair this with some army fatigue pants. You could pair it with denim. Do a pair of boots. This will look really cute with like a black pair of tabby boots and your wide um, leg jeans. I feel like that's the look. But I'll probably be pairing this with my gray tabbies and some denim jeans. I'm not really sure yet but I thought this one was really cute and it has this mock neck vibe to it. So that's perfect for the fall. I'm not a huge turtleneck fan but I do like mock necks. Turtlenecks are just a little bit uncomfortable for me but the mock necks is like the perfect stops like right here the perfect fit and it just looks really cute so you guys there we have that and then i'm gonna show y'all the accessories all right guys so next up we have this crochet hat and this hat is literally so cute i wore this yesterday i got so many compliments on tiktok in person and on instagram so i paired this with some army fatigue pants i wore like a green um olive color hoodie with it with my golden gooses and then my green jacquemus bag and it just was a cute chill daytime look y'all know i live for my cute little daytime chill weekend looks i don't really be doing nothing but i like to look cute when i do nothing so this was perfect. Set that outfit off and I looked really cute to go run to the mall and just run my little errands um, and stuff like that. So there you have that. Next up we have this cute little bag. This is just a shoulder bag in this pink and green checker detail and I just thought this was really really cute. It's not your typical fall colors but I will pair this with like some neutrals or like all black or something like that and it'll just be the pop of color that I need to give my outfit a little bit more of a vibe. So yeah I thought this was really cute and it is big so if you have like errands to run and you need to carry things with you or if you're a mom or anything like that you could just pop everything in here and just have a cute little accessory to carry with you throughout the day. And then last but not least, we have this cute little silver bag. So this is just like a one handle pouch looking type of bag. Little metallic. Not really much to it, just a cute little bag. Like if you need a bag to match your outfit or something like that. I like to just have cute little accessories in my closet because you never know what you want to wear and you might not have a bag to pair with it. Um, you definitely don't always have to do designer bags. I like to mix my highs with my lows. I do have some higher end items, but then I have my lower end items that I like to pair them with. Yeah guys, that's just to show you that you can look cute and fly on a budget. You do not need to be walking around in a bunch of designer to look cute or to look stylish although we do all love our designer items I do love mine I don't reach for them all the time I don't personally feel like they go with everything so I like to just have my little cute little statement pieces to pair with the outfit if needed so yeah guys that's everything that I have for y'all today I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video leave a comment down below to let me know what your favorite piece was let me know what your favorite outfit was that I put together also just give a big thumbs up if you guys did enjoy this video thank y'all as always so much for watching and I'll see y'all next time